I'm Zoe. Katie, Katie, Katie. Zoe, Zoe. <laughs> we do look alike, but like she looks better in, in Katy Perry stuff than I do. There's definitely like a similar, like we look like sisters. This is Taylor Swift. Wow, I've done a lot of stuff. Hi, I'm Zoe Deschanel, and this is my ET retrospective. One day, you'll be cool. This is Almost Famous, and I was uh, 19 when I did this movie. I, I left college to do it, and I remember doing this so well because we rehearsed it for a long time, and um, it felt like I was sad because it was like we rehearsed it for a long time and then it was it felt like it was over fast. I forgive you. <laughs> I didn't apologize. My mom and dad didn't want me um, didn't want me auditioning for professional jobs until I could drive myself because they didn't want to be like stage parents. They didn't want us to be like child actors because they wanted us to have like a real childhood and you know they knew a lot of child actors and it didn't know it was like wasn't it was like the best experience my daughter's asked a couple times and it's saying like she has a friend who's done like a commercial or something and why can't she and i i just say you know i want to give you like the same opportunity to be a kid that my parents gave me so Anyway, we'll see if she still wants to do it when she's older. <laughs> this movie really uh, goes by the theory that stupid people are funny, which they are. This is so weird to see. Oh my God, I was so young. This movie is called Big Trouble. Yeah, this was like a big like studio comedy that like nobody really saw because it was just like had bad timing. It was released like a week after September 11th and it was about these um, bumbling, Criminals trying to smuggle a bomb on a plane. It was like the worst timing of a movie ever. What do you think? I think you guys should turn yourselves in and plead not guilty by reason of stupidity. But it was funny and there were lots of good people in it. Just tell me, you in on it? I don't know what you're talking about. Suit yourself. So this is The Good Girl. This is with Jennifer Aniston. I made this when I was 21. Um, but it's, uh, I'm really proud of this movie. It's one of my favorite characters I've ever gotten to play. Mike White um, wrote it, who went on to do our, one of our favorite shows, White Lotus. If people say, like, tell me three movies to watch of yours, I would definitely put this in that pile. You're breaking out because you put so much makeup on your face. Maybe you're pregnant. <laughs> what? But I love Jennifer, she's amazing. She was like working three days a week on Friends and four days a week on this. She was like, had no days off. She was working so hard and um, she's just such a talented actor. Uh, so great to work with. I wish I knew how. She has to sing to save Christmas. And I just want to point out that I, I, I help save Christmas. I feel like I'm so young here. It reminds me of my like seven year old daughter. <laughs> Will is just, he's really, um, he definitely doesn't know he's a celebrity, I don't think. He's so nice. Um, he is just sweet to everybody. I felt like the script um, had so much potential to be something people watched um, again and again, but, you know, I was so young, I don't I think I could have possibly imagine like how long it would be around and people still watching it. I'm not narcissistic. There's nothing I watch of mine unless I have to. Um, not like I don't, not proud of it. It's just like, I have no reason to watch myself. Ready, the bowl. Okay, a lot of energy, I like it. So this is, is a movie Carl with Carl Jim Carrey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, Love him. He's so fun. We're both. We have the same birthday, different years. I had to balance him out a little bit, like, cause he's like, so um, he's got this like incredible like charisma. So I had to play my character a little more like subdued. Um, but um, he was just such a joy. We did this scene when there was like this little bar area, and he was like. He was like, I'm gonna do something. So like, after I move this glass, like move to the side, like three feet. And I was like, 
Okay. And he literally threw himself face first over this bar and like did a flip. I couldn't believe it. Like I've never seen somebody like do a stunt like that without any practicing. This is, this is your favorite spot? Right here. Okay, 500 days of summer. This was so much fun to make. Joe Gordon Lovett's a really old friend of mine. We actually talked about doing like some sort of like a sequel, like 500 Days of Tom or something. <laughs> um, but it's so complicated. If 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 it's not like built in to the fabric of something, making a sequel is is kind of hard. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I would love to work with Joe anytime. <laughs> I like it. This is like, looks like behind the scenes of one of the episodes of New Girl. When you play somebody for that long, for that many episodes, it's just like inevitable there'll be like, you have to like borrow from yourself to some degree. Will you take me away from this madness? This is Taylor Swift. She liked the show, which was amazing and agreed to come on. I'm Prince. So it seems to be the problem. Prince also was watching the show and reached out actually to me through his manager asking to be involved. And it was like a year process to make it happen, but he kind of guest produced this episode. Um, and it was an amazing experience. He actually improvised a little line where he's getting pancakes made and he said, Thanks, Charles. And he's like, you know why I said Charlie? That's for Charlie Murphy. Because Charlie Murphy's Eddie Murphy's brother, and that's a friend of his. I'm coming out like the sun after rain. Ready to show no time to be plain. Okay. This is the first and only time uh, I have rapped. Um, I didn't know that I was actually going to be doing this part. And I got there, and then they're like, okay, so you ready to do the rap? And I was like, um, uh, what? And I went in the other room and like listened to it for like 10 minutes and then just like went in and did it. Like, thank God um, I, I had Justin Timberlake like coaching me. I love this movie so much. What a sweet movie. I, I and my kids like one of the, probably my kids' favorite movie I've done. They think I'm a voice actor. <laughs> like my meet cue with Jonathan, my boyfriend. It's so sweet to see this. It's how many people can say they have them meeting their partner on video with our siblings present? Not many people. <laughs> it wasn't random. Like they had come to me a bunch of times with different people. And then when they said, you know, the Property Brothers and the Deschanel sisters, I was like, that's funny. Like I like the idea. I wasn't I wasn't thinking I'd find romance, but I, you know, I thought, you know, we'd find a, a, a fun afternoon. Five, six, seven, eight. I knew some of the like actual Britney choreography, so um, it wasn't like hard to learn or anything, but it was fun. It's not the end to the world. No, not the end to the world. So this is me um, in uh, Katy Perry's video for End of the World. She had just had a baby and couldn't do the video and so she asked me to do it. She looks so much better in these wigs than I do. Um, I think that's very apparent. Katy, Katy, Katy. Zoe, Zoe. We do look alike, but like she looks better in, in Katy Perry stuff than I do. I think now people like know her well enough and know me well enough that they don't mix us up as much, but I mean, we, there's definitely like a similar, like we look like sisters, but. Zoe's constantly changed up her looks through the years and her latest is a radical 80s throwback as she joins Physical for its new season premiering August 2nd on Apple TV+. Plus. She plays a fitness guru who goes head to head against Rose Byrne, Sheila. Well, she's like kind of, Sometimes she's like naughty and mean and conniving and like manipulative and then also kind of like sweet and dumb, like all these different things. It's like, she's like Sheila, who's like Rose's character. She's like her polar opposite. I'm a huge fan of the show, so it was so great to be on it. It's just like such an incredible team. Um, and I loved creating, it's kind of two different characters in one. So 
it was so much fun to get to do. And I got to wear two different wigs and I had all these amazing costumes and makeup and um, hair. Just, it was a real pleasure. This was just one of my all time favorite characters I, I have gotten to play and I just can't wait for people to see it. The hope when you become an actor is that you'll do something meaningful. Like I never did this to become famous. I did it because I wanted to do stuff that was meaningful, that meant something to people. So yeah, I mean, I guess that, that's the hope. <laughs>